Hi guys, Mystical Vata here. Do you like my background? I like my background. Um, I am about to turn on this overhead light, but I did just want to show this before the glare gets it, because I know it will. I've always wanted this poster to be in the background of my videos. I finally achieved that, and of course when I do, there's a glare. I got my doll room set up. Um, I'm so happy. Um, not everything fits. Not all of my wind stalls are out. Not all of my dolls are out. And I feel like it's still a work in progress, but this whole entire wall right here is done. I love it. It was worth it. And it was such a big project. It was like a nine hour project and I spent the entire day Tuesday. Tuesday? Was it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday working on it and it came out beautifully. The people that I did show this whole entire thing to, they love it, which I'm really glad because I love it. I'm very proud of it. Shout out to Chris real quick for um, helping me build the bookshelves and hopefully this is just really the beginning of it. But yeah, I'm super proud of this. Anyway, let's get into Stella's top five dolls in my opinion. Light is on, glare is there, and the reason why I wanted to make this top five list and not top ten list is because I would literally be here all day going through my um, stall dolls being like, I want to show this one, no, I want to show this one, no, I want to show this one. So I just decided to just go ahead and make a top five video just for my own sanity. It's no secret that I don't like Stella. Stella is my least favorite character. Even though I don't like Stella, I love her dolls. Her dolls are gorgeous. Her dolls are stunning. Just, I love her dolls. Her dolls are beautiful. Her dolls are glorious. It's just, I don't like her as a person. But that's okay because even if I don't like her as a person, I can still see a prey doll as a prey doll. Okay, so number five. I'm working on getting stands for all these guys. So we got Cosmic Stella right here in my number five spot just because she is pretty. Um, I want to show her with her plastic piece on. I don't necessarily agree with the plastic pieces, so let's just go ahead and take that off. And then here she is. Look at her lovely face. These dolls' faces are absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. I know that there are a lot of people that have a lot of opinion about these dolls' faces, but I love them, and you're not going to change my mind. Um, they are very anime-esque and I think it definitely works for the art style and they look the way that they should. Just not really a fan of season 8 which is really a big disappointment because I really wanted to love it and I was really behind it. Then I got 6 episodes in and I'm like yeah I'm done. Um, maybe one day I'll finish it, maybe one day I won't but yeah. Stella, these dolls are made absolutely beautifully. Their wings are gorgeous rainbows and swirls and everything and then the outfits are absolutely outstanding um i love her little sleeves right here and i do like that they are not connected i think that's just a really good touch that they didn't have to do and then the actual skirt itself without the plastic piece um it's pink and orange and just it's beautiful um their legs sometimes just don't want to work um Musa I know she has top heavy and she doesn't want to stay but that's another video for another time and then their shoes I do believe these are season four shoes for love and pets yeah season four shoes for love and pet I just pulled out Flora just to see their slim shoes they look the same the only thing I really am not a big fan of is the hair i understand why they did it this way it's just these dolls benefit so much from having the ponytail up without their hair getting absolutely everywhere but i love the tinsel these dolls are gorgeous these dolls are stunning and i i love them 
I want more of this. So anyway, um, Cosmics Stella in my number five spot. Number four. Wings on Ice Stella. Um, I feel like that's not too, too, too no, notice. The, the, the. It doesn't seem like it's too bad on actual camera, but I can notice it in my actual life and I can deal with monkey eyes a lot better than I can deal with some bleach box. Anyway, moving on. Wings on Ice Stella. Um, these dolls were made for the Wings on Ice show in 2008. I only have four of them. I bought them all in a gigantic lot and that was such a good day. Stella, she is just so pretty. I feel like the Gucci faces are definitely unique for their time and these are the 10 inch versions, not the 13 inch versions, but I think they work better as 10 inch dolls than they do as 13 inch dolls just because one, they can actually put on a shelf. When I see this doll, I see Stella and she is absolutely beautiful. Her outfit definitely matches her with the mixtures of the pinks and the purples along with her signature orange and yellow. She just looks really, really pretty. And apparently these dolls do sing. Um, I'm not gonna take them out in order to figure it out unless if, you know, yellowing gets really, really, really bad to where you can't see the doll. Um, so maybe one day the dolls will come out of their boxes, just not anytime soon. I just, I love these guys. I want more of these dolls in the future, but yeah, she's just so pretty and lovely and gorgeous. And I'm very glad to have her as a part of my collection, even if her box is yellowing. I love their boxes, their boxes are neat. But I've always been a fan of Gayochi's boxes, even if it's just simple, it's elegant. So, yep, number four spot, um, Wings on Ice, Stella. Number three. Sweet Fairy Stella. I think someone did say that this is actually the harmonics face from season five before they did the switch over to make the dolls look more like Jack's dolls. So, um, yeah. If this was the new um, face Stella, she would not be in this spot. I wanted the old face and that's what I got. I have no interest in the new face. Um, Sweet Fairy Stella. So she comes in a very pink box bright lovely just pink looks really good with her um and then she has like little earmuffs on her ears her wings are lace they are flores but leave wings but like the fairy couture face the fairy couture wings they are all flores outline wings just with lace inside of them that's light blue that matches her um jacket which is light blue and then her dress is pink with ruffles on it she does have um blue socks with dots on them and i do believe her shoes are blue yeah i do believe her shoes are blue and then i think she looks good this representation of stella with the actual doll being light pink and white blue against this. I think that was a very good design choice. I love it, I approve of it. It is gorgeous and lovely. And then as you can see, new face Stella on the back. Um, I do not know what this says. Um, and she is, it looks like French. Um, I don't know that for 1000% sure, but it does look like that. And since she's not a limited edition doll, but special edition, she has a special edition emblem right here. I spent a lot of time with this doll after I got her just because I really, really love her. And so, yeah, just, she's gorgeous. I also got her in the same lot that I got, um, my Winks on Ice Stella and it was a massive lot of like 37 dolls. It was great. So, yeah, um, I don't regret the purchase. She was 1000% worth it. I love her and she's just really pretty and she means a lot to me, so, yeah. Fairy Stella with the old witty face. Two. Rock concert Stella. Um. Chris got me these as a Christmas gift in 2016, and she was the first one that I opened, and I cried. Just the 
sentiment that goes behind this doll just thought that he gifted her to me it just it means a lot and on top of the fact that these are the first edition wins in concert dolls and they are absolutely perfect so besides that the person that these came from is what inspired me to make youtube videos in the first place so yeah and these were the ones that i wanted to get specifically just because they were the first editions and i love them i love them i love the way that their boxes look the stars the um plaid on the outside of them although i'm pretty sure they all do come with that the guitar and then the fact that it's in the shape of a guitar like witty did an amazing job when it came to these season four dolls and i absolutely love them i don't know just perfection is the word just because i i love everything about this doll she does remind me of the halloween um stella doll but she's also sporting like pleather and lace and cloth and lace details and actual chains like they put so much effort into these dolls and it was 1000% worth it and it's really hard for me to believe that these dolls are now 11 years old and I got them and it's just something that I never thought that you know I could get inside of my collection and I'm very proud and they do have a place and I absolutely adore them but yeah all these dolls are absolute perfections they would all 1000% make a top 5 list so yeah um yeah I'm happy with them so before we get to my number one pick I feel like I gotta have an honorable mention and the only reason she is not inside this list is because they like to get over height and I figured I would not be the one that made her my number one spot even though she 1000% deserves to be up there. I just know that people hype these dolls up so let's just go ahead and get into it. Glam Magic Stella. There are so many times where I have gone through in my head where I'm like, Floor is my favorite, no Muse is my favorite, no Stella is my favorite. Like, those three I love so much. It's not the fact that I don't love the others any less, like they are all absolutely beautiful and stunning and stuff. It's just I fight in my brain a lot which ones I love. I feel like I don't have to say anything because these dolls, while they are not perfect, they are pieces of actual artwork that deserve every bit of hype that they get. It's just people like to overprice them and that's what I truly don't understand. These dolls deserve all the hype that they get. She's absolute perfection. I feel like I don't have to explain anything that goes into them. Their wings, their beads, their <clears throat> second pair of wings that I have attached to them just because they have nowhere else to go right now. Um, their hair being the quality that it is, even though I know it's not perfect, it's not soft as it could be. It seems to style really well and this is the same style that's been in since I got her um her crown her outfit like the outfit's just pure perfection the sleeves the shoes she is absolutely beautiful the rate eyelashes work for these guys it's lovely if you ever get the opportunity to get them at a good price I highly suggest you do these dolls mean a lot to me she is my honorable mention I apologize if my camera changed position position um <laughs> So my number one, I feel like I should have a drum room. Um. Season one, Stella. This doll is so underrated, it is not even funny. Um, whenever I think Stella, whenever I envision Stella inside of my brain, whenever, you know, cause sometimes I do dream of wings, not as much anymore, but I used to a lot. I would always think of Stella inside of this outfit, inside of this outfit, inside their first season one outfits. I don't know if it's because I grew up with these dolls inside of their season one outfits or this transformation or if it's just generally how I feel about the dolls. 
So I guess first things first, let's talk about this box. This box shape. Um, this is absolutely perfect. I love this. I do not have a problem with this. And I really like the clamshell um, type of box just because they do keep the doll well protected and it does take a lot for these dolls to get damaged. In the back of their boxes, this is actually the shape of Musa's wings. Um, this was back when they were on the Fox box. Not how I got introduced to Winks, but yeah. The box condition is very, very good. Like these little hearts, these things, and then these things down here. I do know my Flora one is damaged or my Musa one is damaged, but that's okay. Just wear and tear over the years. It's not that big of a deal. And then we need to talk about the accessories that these dolls came with. There's a picture right here, a purse. I do believe she has a phone somewhere. A phone. Uh, I'm guessing this is a little tiny compact. Um, her brush, a um, bracelet for you to wear with her wings on them, and it's orange. And then her second outfit, which is her first season outfit. For season outfits right here, shoes are right here. And then I don't know if she actually comes with um, earrings or not. No, she doesn't. Okay. And then the doll herself, um, the ring of Solaria that got turned into stuff is right here. Um, her outfit lights up. Her, well, I shouldn't say her outfit lights up. Her, hi Sophie. So she doesn't sparkle in the sense that she lights up. She sparkles in the sense that she has glitter everywhere. And then just the little tiny details like the um, plastic piece in her hair, her, um, I don't know what they're called. I'm sure they actually have a name, but yeah, this little um, armlet thingies right here. Um, I'm a sucker for a doll with tinsel inside of their hair and it always seems to be the ones with tinsel that I like the best because I feel like they put the most work and the most detail into them. These dolls are lovely. These dolls are gorgeous. Her wings are plastic, like a hard plastic, so they're not gonna break and they're not gonna come off just unless you lose the magnetic piece that attaches to their back or to the wings. Like, these dolls are so beautiful and I feel like they are so underrated which stinks but they are gorgeous they're gorgeous they are lovely i love them just yeah these dolls mean a lot to me and it brings back so much nostalgia for me every single time i see them because this is the winks that i grew up with and then we got the promotional dvd it does i don't know if anybody on youtube has it up anymore i'm sure somebody does but it just has a type of meet the fairies, a few music videos, and going through their powers. And she was the fairy of the sun and moon before she was the fairy of the sun. Before she was the fairy of the shining sun. And when I think of Stella or any of the other dolls, I think this. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your days. Begins whenever you watch this. Thank you so much. Believe in the magic and wings on.